I forgot to tell y'all that I ordered some books off of Amazon. So, well, I say Amazon later. Amazon. Anyway, <laughs> off Amazon. Hey y'all, welcome back to another holiday vlog. I know y'all looking like, what's going on with your hair? So, I'm changing my hair obviously. <laughs> um, usually in the winter months, I like to wear my hair straight because that's the best time to have it straight and it's not gonna um, puff up because of humidity and revert back to curls. But instead of straightening my hair today, I am trying a wig y'all. I'm trying a wig from a Love Me hair company and I have a wig from them so that's why I ordered another one from them because the quality of the wig is really good and my first wig I got from them is a headband wig but this is different y'all. I will be trying to install my first glueless lace front wig. Never done this before. I hope it doesn't look bad but let me unbox the wig because I haven't opened it yet so I've been waiting to open it with y'all. So this is how it came, the cute little bow. Oh, it's sliding off. Oh my God, here she is. And I, I got her long, y'all. Yeah. My hair is like short. Oh yes, wait a minute. Oh yeah, we gotta get into this, hold on. I got 20 inches, I think. She's long. I'm excited, okay. So in the box here, a bunch of stuff as y'all can see they gave me oh this is a nice comb they gave me a rat tail comb this is like thick quite like this is like heavy duty this is some good quality right here so this and it's purple to match the brand that's so cute they gave me this hair clip everything says love me by the way which is a so cute this little baggie to hold your wig and once you take it out of the um cap and everything and like yeah it's long wig cap and is this a headband? Uh, yeah, it's a headband. There we go. I love the purple thing. I thought it. I thought this unfolded up here, but it's just a seam. So yeah, and a headband. They give you a lot, in my opinion. Oh my god, it feels so soft. This is buttery. Like yes. Anyway, so my method is I'm not gonna use the wig cap. Um, I blow dry my hair, and I'm going to do two braids, two cornrows, um, and that's just how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna just put the wig over my hair. So I'm going to do my braids and then come back when I'm about to install it. Alright y'all, so change of plans for right now. I'm struggling a little more than I thought and I have some places to go. So right now, the lace, you know, nothing is laid and nothing like that. So I just put this hat on to be able to go out to the stores, which it looks really cute in the hat actually. So I'm gonna come back and fix it and I'm gonna just show y'all the end result because my mama gotta help me. But y'all, the hair, it looks really good. It's very long, I think I got like 20 inch. 20 inches so yeah it's really cute yeah y'all this is it like with the hat for now so this time i rock it for just for right now but i think it's it's really cute like with the hat actually it's given winter so yeah i can't stop touching it it feels so good like it's really soft but yeah i'll see y'all once i get this together <laughs> Hey y'all, good morning, happy vlogmas day four. It is, yep, it's December 4th, so I quit on that wig, y'all. I just ended up straightening my real hair because it just looked too fake. Like, I couldn't lay the lace right. It just, I think I cut too much of the lace off. It was just a, 
No. I'm still gonna wear the wig because I didn't want to waste my money. It was it was a nice little penny. But I'm just gonna wear it with um, hats or like a scarf or something to cover up the front. But I'm still gonna wear it because that's a nice wig. But yeah, y'all, it's Monday and I'm at work and we are about to decorate the office. It's that time of year again. So I'm gonna try to get some clips and show y'all. Okay, let's get back inside. Hey y'all, so it's about 3.15. Um, I'm looking at my tracker because my bus is coming in about 15 minutes. I'm about to go, okay? I'm tired. I'm tired. Once I get home, I'm stopping at Chick-fil-A to get dinner and I'm stopping to get gas from my car. So it's gonna be dark when I get home, unfortunately. <sighs> hey y'all so i didn't do nothing i planned on doing like i told y'all when i was still at work because i didn't get home until six o'clock and that's crazy considering the time i left i left at 3 40 it took me two hours and some change to get home mm -mm. i am tired like I said earlier, okay. So my bus, my bus in this car had a whole little situation. They like, I think the car side swiped the bus. Regardless of who side swiped who, the cars, you know, like scratched each other. And we had to pull over on the side of the road and we was just sitting there for like 20 minutes because the bus driver, he was on the phone. He went, he came back on the bus. He pulled out a binder and started flipping through papers while he was on the phone. And I'm like, oh God, what is going on? So after like 20 minutes of just sitting there, he got on the bus and he's just like, um, so we have another backup bus, y'all. Um, can y'all, like, sorry about the inconvenience, but can y'all please, um, just transport over to the other bus? So everyone's just like, okay, fine, whatever. Like, it's nobody's fault, but it's just, like, sucky, you know? It's like, we gotta switch buses and stuff. So the other bus gets there and we get on, no problem. But it seemed like traffic was just, like, extra long today. Like, I don't know. It just felt like I was on a bus forever. So I didn't get gas for my car. I didn't get Chick-fil-A. Thankfully, I told my mom what was going on. She was like, oh, I'll just get it for you. And I was like, thank you. I came home. I took a shower. I ate my food. I picked up my clothes. I did some homework. I watched some TV. That's it. But I'm going to bed, y'all. I got, I got my ocean sounds on. I'm going to show it to y'all. Um, can I get the mint majesty tea? What size? Um, just a tall. That's all. What else? And a um, chocolate cake pop. A chocolate cake pop. Anything else? That's all. Thank you. What's your name? Uh, Shay. Shay? Yeah. All right, love. Six forty-nine. All right. All right, so it's 4.30, I just got back to my car. Thank God, because last night, I didn't get to my car till 6 p.m. But anyways, I'm gonna go get gas for my car today before it gets too dark, so let's go do that. Ow! <laughs> ah. And my hair keeps getting caught in my nail. This is how you know it's time to take them off. Okay, I was about to say, y'all, 
this thumbnail right here is like super lifted up at the bottom. You can't really tell, but it low key snatching my hair out. <laughs> Y'all, I forgot to show y'all this. I got this Reese's advent calendar. I only opened up one flap, but like, get this though, right? I didn't know it was gonna have Reese's pieces in it. I thought they were all gonna be the mini cups right here. The first flap had like a small little pack of four Reese's pieces. I was like, what am I supposed to do with four? So I said I was gonna let a couple of days go by so that way I can have multiple of the Reese's pieces, you know. So today is the fifth. So we have to open up um, two, three, four, and five. Oh, dang. I didn't mean to let that many days go by. Okay, well, let's see. This was number one. Where is two? Oh, yay. We got a Reese's cup. Three, okay. Oh, dang, okay. Thought it was gonna be even, but another four pack of the mini school. Oh well, yeah, I'm gonna go oh, I'm gonna go eat all of these. Dunkin' Donuts and the line is literally in the street. It's not that serious. The line is in the street. Like, do I even sit here? Wow. This is crazy. Are they giving away something for free? I mean, it's moving, but like, all these people in front of me still have to order and get their food. Yeah, I'm not waiting in this line. This is kind of crazy. Wow, and that's crazy, y'all. Chick-fil-A has no line. That's so backwards. Like, what is going on today? What kind of Chick-fil-A may I serve? Good morning. Um, can I get the number one meal? Okay. And what drink would you like for that? Um, can I get a frosted coffee? And um, could you guys also, like, put Oreos in that? Okay. Um, that's all. All right. You're all good to go? Okay, thank you. My pleasure. Have a good one. There's nobody on my side of the line, but everyone's on the mobile drive through part, which is crazy because the mobile side is supposed to be faster, but it's not right now. My side is faster. <laughs> that's funny. I'm sorry about the glare of my glasses. I feel like that's kind of annoying. Oh yeah, and my nail came on. It's time to take them off anyway. They've been on for like two weeks. I'm gonna put a new pair on. I just don't know which ones. Uh, okay. Yeah, I need to get tense. Cause I feel like everyone can see my camera and they just be looking at me like, who she thinks she is. <laughs> I promise y'all, I'm not snotty. I just enjoy vlogging, that's all. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> thank you. I you too. Oh, it's a fire truck right here. I hate this little shopping center section. It's so tiny and it gets like the most business. They need to like widen it up. God was looking out y'all, cause now that line is long. That's crazy. All right, I'm back inside now y'all. And if y'all heard my order, you heard me correctly. You can get Oreos put in your frosted coffee. 
at Chick-fil-A. Now, I don't know if this is already a known thing. I could be late to the game, but if you didn't know, get a frosted coffee and ask them to put Oreos in it. It's so good. But anyway, so I'm signed into work right now. Got my laptop right here. It is December 8th. Happy December 8th. Happy Friday. Happy Vlogmas. I, oh, reminder. I haven't been saying like Vlogmas in my videos because I, listen, Vlogmas is like crazy to do. Like vlog and upload every day. That's insane. And I don't have enough time in my day to do. So I'm not even going to like call my videos like vlogmas -y type of thing. They're just going to be holiday vlogs because look. That Vlogmas life is crazy, but I mean, it's still happy Vlogmas, you know. I guess it doesn't matter how much you upload. If you upload in December, I guess it's considered Vlogmas. But, yeah. It's now 9 a.m. and I'm about to eat my breakfast and then do some work. No crazy plans for the day. Dang, that's better than what I remember. Hold up. It's basically like a coffee milkshake. And I just got a uh, chicken biscuit. Y'all want to see it? I'll show it to y'all. Oh, yeah, hold on real quick before I show you that. Look at my phone case. It's so cute and festive. Like, it's Santa upside down trying to get in the chimney. I thought this was so cute. I got this from Shein for like $1.50. Yeah, I just thought this was so funny and cute and festive. Ooh, it's hot. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. I just got the chicken biscuit meal. Do the little influencer thing. It looks so tiny. So, yeah, I got this and I got the meal. So, it came with the tater tots. Y'all already know. It's about to be so good. And it's a close-up of the coffee. You can see the Oreos in it. Yeah, I'm about to catch up on Queen and Clarence Vlogmas videos. I love them. They're so funny. <laughs> All right, so it is now 127, basically 130. And yeah, I got myself together a little bit, you know. I um I just put some makeup on, some regular stuff. But I forgot to tell y'all that I ordered some books off of Amazon. So well, I say Amazon later. Right Amazon. Anyway, <laughs> off Amazon. And we need to get into this winter slash Christmas slash December TBR. So my first one that I got is called Snowed In for Christmas by Sarah Morgan. This is the one I'm reading now. Yeah, so I wanted like a cheesy Christmas novel, like basically like a Hallmark uh, slash Lifetime Christmas movie in a book. I don't know. I just wanted to. Um, my last book I read, Verity, was so good. It was so good. So I really like Thriller. So I'm a little nervous if I'm going to be able to get through this because like Christmas and like love stories kind of tend to go slower. But I wanted to read a Christmas book because I never read one before. So, you know, I'm, I'm more into movies. Like I just started getting back into reading like last year. I wanted to see for myself, like, you know, is it going to make me cringe the whole time or is it gonna be actually a good story so anyways this was on the back of here it says $16.99 but I put the price of what I paid for it on the screen because I didn't I didn't pay $17 for this but so far I'm only a couple pages in I'm on page 18 and um so far so good no complaints yet so this is what I plan on reading in December so next up we have icebreaker and this is so cute y'all this is so cute this one is more just like a winter theme it's not really Christmassy, so i want to save this one for january but this one is called icebreaker by hannah grace and look how cute the cover is this is so cute like the little characters and everything they outfits like they drippy so yeah basically the story oh i didn't tell you about the storyline for the other one hold on but the storyline for this one is there was basically like a facilities mishap type of thing and the figure skaters and the hockey players have to share one rink and that's kind of like how they gonna do that like they gotta practice their separate sports on the same ice rink and so I think these two end up falling in love with each other type of thing. Um, I feel like it's supposed to be like a enemies to lovers type of thing which I feel like is gonna be real cute and I think on the back of here it says something happens with her um, figure skating partner and the hockey guy right here has to fill in and dance with her, like skate with her, you know. It's going to be cute. I feel like it's going to give like Ice Princess type of vibes. Um, Y'all know that movie. But yeah. And going back to Snowden for Christmas. The storyline for this book is basically like this one girl, she has to like pitch this idea to a guy and his family to save um, the company that she's working for. And she ends up getting stuck there um, at the guy's house with his family. That's why it snowed in for Christmas. 
but they think that she is the son's girlfriend and she's really not so it's like a whole mix up type of thing and the other siblings in the family are like keeping secrets they're trying to keep from their parents so they're trying to help each other like deviate from the questions that they're being asked it sounds like it's gonna be a lot like a messiness type of thing you know but also good did that make sense i hope i didn't confuse y'all and last but not least i bought this back in september i just haven't read it yet but i plan on reading this in february march and april because this is huge but it is crush by tracy wolf and this is part of a series look how thick she is like that's crazy i don't even want to see how many pages this is but i know the story is gonna be good so i'm just gonna get through it oh jesus this book is 684 pages long but anyway i read the first book called crave and the story was so good like i talked about it in one of my vlogs last year and i wanted to read this again for like fall because it's about like vampires and dragons you know fictiony type of thing but i didn't get around to it because i was just reading slower than planned so i feel like this would be a good february book just because it's a love story as well you know and best believe i'm going to be giving y'all updates as i'm reading these my reactions my thoughts and my final thoughts when i finish it happy vlogmas day nine it's the next day y'all um i'm about to go to a sweet 16 party so it's gonna be bowling but i'm not bowling i'm just going so i need to figure out what i'm about to wear um i changed my nails they're just plain white and then i put a, a special like iridescent looking one on the ring finger but yeah they're really cute it is four o'clock right now party starts at 5 30 but it's gonna take almost two hours to get there it's like a little mini road trip I have a lot, it's a long ride, but that's why I gotta start getting ready. So let me figure out what I'm wearing. Hey. 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 Hey.